Good morning, East Texas. Happy Thursday. It's Friday Eve, and it's definitely a clearer morning out than we saw yesterday. Across East Texas, little to no clouds in our area. We can see some starting to creep in from the west. We're thankfully dry this morning. We did have some showers later last night. We woke up with some rain on the ground, but you can see right now it looks like all our storms are out to the west of us in the Metroplex and even up in Oklahoma. Oklahoma really taking the brunt of all the storms right now now we've got this big line moving closer to Oklahoma City. It's clipped parts of our panhandle, but now moving out of Texas. All in all, East Texas is in the clear for right now. Now you can take a look outside. Still dark this morning, but right now about 78 degrees out in Tyler. Clear skies, so when the sun does come up, we will be able to see another pretty sunrise like we did yesterday. Dew point 73, so just feeling a little bit warmer at about 81 degrees this morning. Across our region, though, temperatures relatively warm if you had to get out early. It looks like Sulphur Springs is at 79. Tyler, once again, 78. Longview at 76. A little closer to Louisiana, we've got Jefferson at 74 and Marshall at a cooler 73. But a nice time to get outside this morning if you had any errands because those temperatures are going to keep heating up through the afternoon. Now, a record high is 106. Thankfully, I have good news. We won't make it there this afternoon. But you can see across our region, we'll stay relatively cooler today because we will have some scattered storms, a little bit more widespread than yesterday as well, that'll keep some of us a little bit cooler. The rest of us, a partly cloudy day, so a good mix of sun and clouds. Sunset will be after about 7 or 8.30, I should say. But you can see across our region, some of us staying even just in those upper 80s throughout the day. The humidity is going to play a factor in that. You can see this is our humidity outside right now. Very humid as you step out the door. As the afternoon goes on, we try to dry out just a little bit. The humidity tries to go down. But because of those storms coming in, you can see it really ramps back up. And we will still be humid going into the afternoon. So if you have any evening plans, it'll definitely be a little muggy outside. Because of that humidity and those um, cloudy skies, though, and our lower temperatures, our heat index values don't get too high. That humidity does help it still break about 100 degrees, but not as bad once again as we were seeing this time last week. Now tonight, once again, pleasant temperatures, and if you have any outdoor plans, our lows will be in the lower to mid-70s, just a few clouds after those thunderstorms that are going to happen earlier this evening. Now, I did want to show you our future skycast, talk about the timeline of those storms as we walk through it. You can see throughout the rest of the afternoon today, we have just a few showers and thunderstorms that start to try to pop up. Those two lines kind of merge together, scattering just a few more thunderstorms across the region, central parts of East Texas. Once those move out, though, you can see just a few that pop back up. Once again, circle in parts of East Texas. But throughout the rest of the evening, we should be clear until Friday morning as well. We start off Friday morning relatively clear outside. Now, tonight, once again, scattered thunderstorms that are rolling in the afternoon. We'll make it to those lower 90s, about 92 today. But... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're a lot warmer, we're a lot sunnier. Thankfully, our rain chances don't come back until about Monday, Tuesday, but we still have a lots of sun, warmer temperatures next week as well, and by the middle of the week, we'll be much more dry. I bet our heat index values will be ramping back up again.